Hello and welcome to the 48th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JF version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at mouse moved. We'll be using the source code from the 47th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JF provides us with all the desired functionality for mouse recognition in the form of events. We will take a look at detecting when the user has moved the mouse in this tutorial. Bear in mind you will obviously need a device with a mouse, so pretty much all mobile devices are out of the question. But for mobile devices you can use touch which we covered earlier in this series. So let's open up app.js which contains our current layer and we'll add the code for the mouse moved. So to detect mouse moved it's really simple, very similar to what we've done before. We do on mouse move colon function and it takes parameter of event curly braces and in here we're simply going to do a cc log and in here we're going to put mouse move colon and we'll show the location so dot get location x you can do y if you want to save it minimize this open up terminal and now what we're going to do is cd to our project directory run the cocos command but now we have it loaded up so let's right click inspect elements so we can get to the console and now what we're going to do is just get rid of this a second uh, actually I'm going to refresh it at the moment there's nothing on there and when I go onto the game screen it starts detecting the mouse moved and at all the different points and if I click we've still got the left mouse button code and the left mouse button release as well there you go we have mouse moved little task for you to do look into detecting mouse buttons within the move, move statement so for example printing the mouse's move coordinates but only when the mouse's left button is down also look into the other functions offered via events other than getting its location more information regarding this can be found on the cocos 2 js api guide we now are able to detect when a mouse button has been pressed released and also when the mouse has been moved in the next tutorial, we will cover detecting when the mouse wheel has been scrolled. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.